Hello everybody, welcome back to Supermarket Simulator with me, Mrs. SimGamer. I hope you are very well today, guys. I hope you're very well. So, we are going to jump in. Um, I'll show you my storage right now. I am just filling up the last few empty gaps before we open up for the day. I'm at level 27 now. Still got a long way to go. I think there's about 50 odd levels in this game. Um... I'm still nowhere near getting all the licenses and the upgrades and things like that. So, we still have a long way to go in this fun game. I just like to come on here and have a little play every now and then offline. It just relaxes me, oddly. You'd think it wouldn't be that relaxing, but it, it actually is relaxing. Um, yes. So, how are you guys? If you downloaded this game, what do you think of it? Are you having fun? What level are you on? I've seen quite a lot of big streamers pick this game up, which I was actually shocked by the amount of people that have picked up this game. Thought maybe it wouldn't tick the boxes of the big, big streamers, but it looks like most people are just as obsessed with it as I am. That goes down there. Chocolate. And then we'll just have a quick check make sure that everything is okay before we open up i want to have as much stock as possible um i've got a little bit of overstock here as well and it's not fitting on the shelves but that's fine so potatoes we've got plenty of okay could do with some more apple juice actually I don't think I'm going to worry about it too much and just get us opened because everything else is pretty well stocked up. So I like to turn the light on early because it's a bit dark in here otherwise. But you know what? Let's open. Ding! So I have my own checkout now. A recent update means that you can put checkout closed as well, which is quite cool. I'm unsure of the placement of this guy because well let's face it it isn't the most easy way if there's a queue so i am thinking about moving that just don't know to where um ideally it would be behind but i think the next step is to get an upgrade for this space I think that's the next step um make this room bigger so we can have the tills in a much better row looks like oh straight to me why not 1723 thank you very much madam um <clears throat> so let's see how much we make today we've got 470 in our bank now I would love to see that have a four in front of it. If we can get up to 4,000 in a day, I would be absolutely chuffed with that. But in all likelihood, that isn't going to happen. Oh, you fancy some tuna, do you, buddy? 2250. Thank you very much. Ooh, butter, deodorant. Oh, goodness me, what are you doing with all those potatoes? Thank you very much. So they've also released an update where the, the higher the store level you are, the more customers you end up getting in a day. So it gets gradually more and more busy as you grow your business, which is a really nice update. I like that a lot. And the customers should now um as you're seeing here go to different 103 sorry let me just get this right 103.97 go to different tills um they shouldn't all just queue up at one that is supposedly a new update um like for example that guy i wish you would just come to me now i'm free i can help but so it's it's not been too crazy honeybee 
zero is too expensive. Let me just go check that out and see what's going on. Why is that too expensive? Oh yeah, price has gone down dramatically. I checked all these prices. So I must have missed that one. Yeah, 850. Gosh, I hope I didn't get any more wrong, but I will keep an eye on it because I'll be here. Any others that I see that say can't, it's too expensive, I need to go fix it. It affects the reputation and then your store level. It would be nice to have a centralised system where you can look at all your prices just on one sheet. On the computer, you could do some price management. That would be really cool. wins again. That ain't creepy. 6550. Thank you very much. So we've got 1700 in the bank. It's already four o'clock so I think I may have been a little bit ambitious. Uh, so 38, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. Thank you, sir. This dude here looks like a character out of Grand Theft Auto or something. The one in the red top. Oh, there's his twin. <laughs> Creepy. Great to get up to store level 28 in this uh, video recording. That would be really cool. You're either really tall or you're really short, buddy. Not that being short's a problem. I'm very short. I'm only 5'2". My mum is 4 foot 11. She's tiny. What makes that funnier is my dad is 6 foot 2. So we've got my dad at 6 foot 2 and my mum at 4 foot 11. Gonna get more opposites really. Now you are glam. Not gonna keep that figure with that pizza, love. Oh, you ran out of sauce. Okay, we've got a two in front. Two, four, eight, six. Can we can we push to three? Can we push to three grand? Come on. The restockers are busy, I know that. Quite a big bottles of cola. I didn't realise they were that big. Uh, 50, 62. Thank you very much. 95, 50. 75. Another 10p, but... Make his uh, pocket rattle. It's 9pm. Normally this is it. We do still have one, two... Oh, someone else is coming in. Let's roll with it. Let's roll with it until nobody else is coming in. It's absolutely dead quiet. Okay. 104.97. That's a nice one. We just hit the three grand mark. Very happy about that. All right, let's see what else we've got going on. God, the sources are running out over there. Come on, buddy. Is that what you're buying? With that nice suit, that's all you're buying. I bought something else, mate. 
Oh, he's buying all the milk. See, this annoys me. This woman can come over here. And she's going over there, leaving me with no one to look after. There is one more customer in here. Come on! Yay! Thank you very much. $63.53. I was a little ambitious about putting a four in front of it, but three. That might go up to 3,500 now. That's not bad. Couldn't find hot sauce. Yeah. Did we have any left and the restockers didn't get to it? Or did we run out? We actually ran out. Wow. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. Um, so let's finish the day. I can't order anything. So we got... Four thousand, uh, sorry, three thousand one hundred in income, but I did spend a lot of money in this day, so the profit was at a minus figure. Um, we did get a nice uh, four hundred and twenty store points and total customers. Two, not bad, but that's a shame. Products too expensive, seven. So I need to look at what those seven are. Unfortunately, it doesn't tell us. We have to go and figure that out um so peanut butter and french fries apparently have gone up in value so let's just have a look at that so they're now 617 i'm actually going to pull that down to um 615 and see whether we can beat the market price for that today now peanut butter is all the way over here um so again, that has actually gone up. So we're going to get a little bit more money out of this. So we're going to go £6.50. We're still going to beat the market price, but we're going to put it up just slightly. Okay. That's all good. That's all fine. If it's just a few pence over the market price, we shouldn't have issues. It's when it's a lot over where there is issues so you don't make much money on these sources it's quite big outlay for not much return i'm just going to bring this down so 13 35 let's do that oh that's quite a bit higher so let's do um 211 actually let's beat the price let's go to do 205 this is quite a bit over as well now so let's check this price of 617 let's do 620 on that 2099 let's pull this down to 2050 still excellent profit so we can beat people on that we're way over on this one so let's bring that down to 450 that's still a good margin considering some of the other products that we sell um yeah i'm happy with that let's go around the corner and have a look now so coffee yep that's fine let's pull this down to 950 we just have a very quick look at this that's quite high margin what if we undercut Let's undercut by a penny. Fine. That's fine. That's fine. We fixed that in the last one. That's fine. Yep. That's good as well. Did I check this one? Yes, we're undercutting on that. All right, let's have a look at the pastas. Oh, that's quite expensive. Let's go bang on three quid for that. Um, fine with that. Six. Let's go six ten. Undercut by a penny. 
Um, let's undercut by a couple of pennies. Let's try and drive. Let's try and drive commerce in our direction. Yep, okay, let's try these. We always run out of potatoes. I never seem to have a problem with potatoes, ever. All right, there we go. Okay, market price 212. I'm going to keep that. 212. Three seven five. that's fine. 40, let's bring that down to 240 as well then. Um, this water, 299. Let's bring that down to 280. Let's try and get the sales in. Oh, this is quite a bit more, so let's go. Let's do 280. And also, I'm just going to do 280 on that one as well. So, whatever juice you go for, you're getting the same price. So, three, yeah, I'm fine with that. 1350. Um Okay, let's bring that down to 13 then. Flashing our flashing our money a little bit, but let's bring that down to 1590. It's a big investment buying these products, but Okay. Um Let's have a look at this. So, let's go 50. The only really good thing about this, I'm kind of tempted to put go, go below, sell a load, and still get really good profit. Undercut. Could be quite interesting. That's bang on. Look here. That's quite a bit over. Let's bang that on at tenner and see. Fine. Put that on at 320. Bang on the price, average price. Let's put that down to 125. Such tiny profit on those. Uh, 410. Bring that down to 730. Let's try and see what we can do here. Do a little bit of a sneaky. Undercut our competitors. Hmm. Go for two forty there. Let's go for. Let's go for three eighty five there. And let's go for six twenty here. That's already way below fact that is quite significantly below so let's go for 70 on that let's increase our margin there but still undercut um do 410 not ridiculous oh bit of a bargain put that up to a fiver ow a lot of money here as well a lot of money we're missing here. Um, let's go 1350 because that's still huge margins. Okay, so we are probably losing business here. These are probably the ones where we are not managing it correctly. Just making sure that we're... Okay, we're losing money there as well, really. We're leaving money on the table. Um, 270. Okay, let's go over here. Yep, happy with that. I'm going to bring this down to 9.95. Yep, that's good. Chickens are much cheaper than what they used to be. Really? 
really ram these prices in a different direction. Excellent. Okay, so that is everything repriced. Now down to... Um, it, yeah, it's now down to checking the stock levels of everything. So I've got some left over. Let's see if we can fit them on. Nope. What else have I got there? Orange juice. Orange juice fit. You got space? Nope, still full. Still chicken full. But that's the chickens aren't selling because we're out for pricing them. When I say we, I mean me. Um, little sucker. Polar is still full up. Let's that for a second. Water. That one's needs restocking though. Pizza. That doesn't need restocking. The other pizza does though. Okay, so let's go over here. So we need potatoes, honey cereal, and white cake. Cereal and the cake. Get a couple of those. Okay, so that's that side. Then we need apple juice, milk, and zap. Get those done. Okay, right, what else do we need? Do us some more spaghetti and pasta. What about the other pasta? Yep, let's get that as well. Okay, we need the red flour. Just the one. Nope, we need two of those. And then sauces. Yeah, this is this is where we fell down slightly. Three. Mayo. Ketchup. Right, let me just go and grab all these and fill up. See where we're up to. Okay, so. Potatoes. Done. Flour there flour we know when we've hit something that's empty on the shelves because the team start walking all right mayo there that pasta cake Kick. Cereal. Spaghetti. Let's see some spaghetti. We had a um. We have a couple of food trucks that come to some of our local areas. And there's one, it's called the York, uh, I think it's called the Yorkie Company. And they, they pretty much put a roast dinner. They, they put a roast dinner in a Yorkshire pudding. That's pretty much what they do. So they wrap up, they make, um, you pick, you pick your protein, so chicken, beef, um, chicken, beef, or pork. I think you could have a vegetarian one as well. Then it all goes into like a quite a big Yorkshire pudding. If you can imagine like the size of a mini wrap, it goes into that sort of size. 
and then they put in some gravy, stuffing, roast potatoes, um, and then you can put sauce on it, whether you want mustard, horseradish, um, mint sauce, whatever. And then they wrap it up like they would a wrap. And it is just divine, guys. It is amazing. Mm -mm -mm. Love it. All right, sushi. We need that one. All right, what are we running out of here? Eggs on all counts. One, two, three. Yep. Uh, toilet roll. Put paper on here. Um, shampoo. Do with some more um, disinfectant. What is it? Uh, let's go shelf. Oh, just cleaner. Much more simple than what I was trying to make it. Uh, we need more crab sticks again. Really loves the crab sticks. Okay. Yeah, and then the day after there was another um like food truck. Quite a lot of them. And there was an African food truck, Indian, Chinese. Oh my goodness, there was like everything there. Um Mexican that's called Taco Shack, and it's absolutely amazing. They do fabulous tacos. And one that I really, 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 really like is um, halloumi with refried beans and all the works, all the salad in a, in a soft taco. That's really good. And their burritos are epic. But yeah, that's the one I'm really into. Never used to like halloumi because it's got quite a squeaky texture, but yeah, kind of, kind of really like it now. Strange how that happens. Your tastes do evolve over time as you get older. All right, let's get that. Still can't get a taste for sushi though. That's because I don't like fish, and I'm, unfortunately, I eat with my nose, which sounds really stupid. But if I don't like the smell. I'm not the best, I just, I'm not very good at food when I don't like a smell. Um, right, what else? So I'll put that on. Yep, fine with that. Refill the eggs. Milk's not great, but I've got no more space there. And mozzarella. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. -mm -mm -mm. Cheesy pizza. Right, I think that will be enough. And then what I would like to do... Let's see... We've got enough money to... Nope. <laughs> There's the answer to that. Nope. 2,600 to expand. Okay. Let's pay our bills. Make sure we're all up to date with that. Storage, we actually can increase our storage. Still don't have the funds for it, but we are now at that um, level. We're even at level four, actually, all of them. But we're just not there for the growth side. License wise, we actually can't get any more licenses until we reach 30. We did reach level. 21 in that last um, shop open day and talking about open let's hit that open button while I go and put this all on the shelves I mean you could see where the boxes when the boxes are big i kind of need to 
plan the storage a little bit better around it. And I haven't for some of them. Like, for example, the toilet paper. I can only ever have four in storage. So that's not the best planning. Whereas, like, these ones you can get a lot in. Flour, I would like to have two. Because this is where the... Ooh. Am I, uh... I didn't turn me thing off, did I? 50, 60, 70, done. Thank you, madam. Ooh, yeah, you like that sushi. And crab sticks. You're, you like your fish, don't you, mate? Turn the light on. Yeah, see, this is where the problem lies. So we only have two milk left. But there must be one in that box and one in that box. So that, that, that's where I trip up and I don't have enough stock because the boxes are creating the problem. Lovely. Thank you very much. That's 7831. We're starting with a lot more money today. The, yeah, the first um, open day we had 470 in the count. This time it's a little bit healthier. We have got a little bit more competitive on our pricing. Wow, he looks a tiny bit like Jason Statham. Just a tiny bit. I would like for the staff to have different heads. I don't think that's too much to ask for that. It'll be even creepier when I have four staff members, plus me. That's cool blue hair. Right. Parmesan. Oh, you like your cheese. Uh, one, two, three, five and six. Thank you very much. Thank you. 4390. Thank you very much. Nah, he doesn't look like him anymore. It's just a sudden flash. They have added some new characters in here, though. Characters. Really the word I was looking for. Shoppers. Customers. I want to help someone. Yes. Thanks. Oh, that's a that's a new guy. I haven't seen him before. Very smart. Two piece. <laughs> Look how big that is. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. This dude is new as well. I don't remember seeing him before. We are going to need to hire a new restocker. Can we, can we do that yet? Are we at that level? Management, hiring. No, so twenty level 29. And we need 13 racks. Okay, so we need a bigger storage for that as well. Come on, I want to help. I can help. See, this, this is like, come on. Hurry up. Tell you what, I'll help restocking whilst... Oh, 
seriously. As soon as I walk away, I get customers to serve. All I needed to do was look less interested in helping people. <laughs> Fun. 5071 for Ching. Thank you very much. All right. Let me see if I can do something. Oh. Customer. Let me just turn the lights on. Oops, that is on. I need more lighting. Thank you very much. That's 3170. Thank you. help a little bit with the restocking. Potatoes? No, nope, they're fine. I can see that. But cereal. That's spaghetti. Let's get spaghetti. Oh, you just did that. Weird timing. Okay, let's see what you've got. A hundred and eight and seven cents. Thank you, madam. The end of the day already. Couldn't find... Ah. Oh. Yeah, we really, really, really need another restocker to keep things flowing. That's this milk. And that was the one that I pointed out to you guys. We only had space. We didn't have space for more. Okay, 52.82. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. 84.65. Orange juice nearly ran out. Yeah, you couldn't find milk, so we're gonna we're gonna get punished for that. Products not found three, but products found expensive zero. So we had a big plus there. Um, if I didn't, what I should have done is I should have ordered more and then made a conscious effort to go and put it back in. Then we would have had a clean sheet. Um, but fifty three customers today. That's one more than the last. Uh, the last one. Um. So now's probably a really good time to stop, right? Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed this episode as much as I have creating it. If you have, you know what to do. Hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this on Supermarket Simulator. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.